Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Hi everybody. Today the second lecture and we will speak about the general arthrology. Our objective for today will be definition of the arthrology. Number two, classification of joints and then the basic structure and the movement of joints, especially the synovial joint. So let us see what is the definition of general arthrology. Articulation means joint and it is formed between two bones or cartilage or maybe more according the type of joint, simple joint or composite joint. And also there will be a uniting medium between the bones or cartilage. The purpose and the function of the joint to allow movement and for direction of joint and to provide the stability of the joint and also for the growth rate of the bone for you know for to increase in length the uniting medium it differ could be fibrous tissue or cartilage or mixture between this fibrous and the cartilage classification of joint we classify the joint according to the uniting medium into three types of joint which is fibrous joint cartilaginous joint and synovial joint so let us start by the first one which is a fibrous joint and the uniting medium would be fibrous tissue and this joint characterized by absence of the joint cavity this joint are temporary joint and by the time this joint uh, uh, suffied and be became uh, you know um, solid and this was called synestosis mean process of the ossification of this joint Fibrous joint, there are three classes or types of fibrous joint. First one is suture, syndesmosis, and the third one is gomphosis. The suture usually present in the skull, the joint of the skull between the different bones of the skull and the united by what is called suture ligament. So this, this suture has types, right? So we have sutura serrata, usually between the two bones, for example, between the two frontal bones and is called interfrontal suture. Suture is comosa, which became overlap and usually between the temporal and the parietal bones of the skull. Suture plana or hormonia, and this usually may be plain, for example, the internasal suture, the suture between the two nasal bones. And lastly, the suture foliata, which we have like a fissure, the bones will be fit, fit in a fissure. For example, the wings of the presphenoid bone of the skull, which fit in a fissure of the frontal bone, and also the zygomatico maxillary suture in case of the skull of the dog. The second types of fibrous joint is syndesmosis, and the uniting medium will be fibrous or elastic tissue or mixture between both. We have example of the syndesmosis can be found between the shaft of the metacarpal bones. As we know in the equine, we have the canon bone, the third one, and then we have the second and the fourth splint bone. And the joint between the second and fourth and the third will be the, you know, uh, syndesmosis. Also, the attachment of the costal cartilage, right, will be syndesmosis. Also, by the time, this joint became ossified and what is called synestosis. The third type of the fibrous joint is gonphosis, and gonphosis means is a term which means implantation of the teeth inside the alveoli of the maxillary bone or in the you know in the mandible by a ligament called periodontal ligament. And you have to understand gonphosis is not considered as you know uh, uh, is not as a joint because. Teeth are not part of the your skeleton. So if you look at these pictures and you know you can see the suture between the bones of the skull, different type of suture. It depends about the types of the bone, and you have the syndesmosis as you can see between the carb metacarpal bones and also gymphos. You can see now the tooth which is implanted in the alveolus. Also, I can see the suture again in the skull of the equine, the horse, and also skull of the dog. 
and also the metacarpal bone of the equine. The second type of joint is known as cartilaginous joint and the uniting medium would be the hyaline or fibrocartilage or combination between the two types. The cartilaginous joints are classified into three types. The first one known as hyaline cartilaginous joint or synchondrosis. The second one is fibrocartilaginous or synthesis. And now we can have a comparative between the two types of the cartilaginous joint. So you can see we start by the hyaline from the left and then fibrocartilaginous joint in the right. So the hyaline would be temporal joint. However, the synthesis would be permanent joint. Usually hyaline cartilage will be ossified by the age as we see synestosis. However, in the synthesis is never ossified. There is no movement in the hyaline joint. However, we have some limited movement in the synthesis joint. The uniting medium according to the name of the joint would be hyaline cartilage. The other one would be fibrocartilage cartilage or fibrocartilage. Example for the hyaline cartilage we have, for example, the metaphyseal plate, which is present in the, you know, the pro two proximal and distal extremities of the bone. And also the junction between the ribs and sternum in costochondral junction. And also the intermandibular synchondrosis present in the two, or in the uh, two part or in the, you know, in the body of the mandible when they join together, as you can see here in this photo. Examples for the synthesis, we have the pelvic synthesis in the pelvic bone, right? We have pubic synthesis and we have ischial synthesis, right? So, uh, or the sciatic synthesis and between, you know, the ischium and between the pupils, we have the pelvic synthesis. Also between the sternibra or sternum of the sternum, as you know, uh, sternum have, you know, as have different uh, number of the sternibra, so the joint between the sternibra of the sternum will be also symphysis, and also between the bodies of the vertebrae of the vertebral column. The third one, it's diastereoidal joint or movable joint or true joint, which is synovial joint. There are two important structures. Could be we have we classify the structure of the uh, synovial joint into two categories. The first one is what is the essential or necessary structure which must be in the present in the true joint. The other one would be what is the accessory structure which could be present in some joint and absent in the other. So let us start by the first one which is the necessary or the essential structure which is present in the true joint. The first one articular surface. Any joint, any true joint, you must have two bones. And this bone have to be a smooth surface to be able to to be articulate. Number two, articular cartilage, which usually cover the articular surface of the bone. This is usually non hyaline non-vascular uh, cartilage is important for you know to increase the bone curvature and also for facilitate movement and for absorbing of the shock and dimension friction between the two articular surfaces. The third one is articular capsule, which is surrounded the, the articular surfaces. And usually articular capsule has two layers. The first one will be the outer layer and second one outer fibrous layer, which we have ligament and we have inner synovial layer, which is secrete synovia, which is important to lubricate the articular surface and to provide nutrition for the, the joint by diffusion and also for phagocytosis or to the debris. The fourth one of the Essential structure is articular or joint cavity, which is space, right, including in the joint capsule, and as we mentioned, it has con or contain synovial fillet. The accessory structures or in connoissance structure, which is present in some joint and absent in the other ligament. Ligaments are important to support the joint. However, some joint, for example, shoulder joint, has no actual collateral ligament but replaced by the muscles. So we have intracapsular ligament between the capsule and we have extracapsular ligament and also we have interosseous ligament, for example, the crochet ligament in the stifle joint. The second one, articular discus or meniscus in the sky, which is present in certain joints such as in the stifle joint, as you know, because the proximal extremity of the tibia is irregular, 
right so we need something to make the articular surface are smooth so we have the articular you know articular menisci we have medial and lateral you know menisci in the cycle joint and also right and you know this is important for anti-concussion and also if we are allowed to greet movement and we give example for that which is the stifle joint as a compasoid joint also we have essential structure known as marginal cartilage as you know in case of the scapula we have glenoid cavity and we have the head of the humerus so marginal cartilage present in certain cavity such as glenoid cavity of the scapula and also acetabulum of the pelvic bone this is important to enlarge the cavity, joint cavity to allow the head of the humerus in case of shoulder joint or allow the head of the femur in case of the hip joint right for articulation and also to prevent the fracture of the rim of the cavity as you can see now that this is a diagram for the uh, synovial joint and you can see now the two articular surfaces of the two bones and we have the articular cartilage covering the articular surface and we have the joint capsules two layer outer fibers and the inner synovial and we have the joint cavity which filled by you know at the synovial fluid and we have a ligament inserted to joint which is essential is not non-essential or accessory structures right let us now classify the diarthrodia or synovial joint actually it they have many classification of the through joint it depends about what factor so according to the number of the bones sharing in the formation of the joint we have simple joint mean at least two bones two articular surfaces to form the joint for example shoulder joint and we have composite joint mean more than one two art more than two articular surfaces for example carpal joint or a stifle joint right this would be considered as compound or composite joint according to the form of the articular surfaces we have the types example and the movement for example we have in case of shoulder joint and the hip joint we have what is called this called ball and the circuit joint and this joint can perform the all movement when all, when you see all movement mean extension and flexion abduction abduction or circumduction and the rotation the second one is ellipsoid jo ellipsoidal joint right like for example atlanto occipital joint and also this joint make extension and deflection right then we have bivot joint like atlanto axial joint or this make rotation and we have the plane joint like carbo metacarpal joint and this will make lining movement then we have gingillomus or hinge joint like elbow joint also make extension and deflection and then we have condyloid as in case of metacarbophalangeal joint and also make extension and deflection and then we have saddle joint like between the two phalanges right interphalangeal joint and also make extension and deflection the third classification according to the degree of mobility we have uniaxial or biaxial or multiaxial multiaxial like ball and socket joint is like shoulder and hip joint biaxial like interphalangeal or lipsoidal joint and we give example uniaxial like in case of the elbow and bivo joint according to the mobility we have you know extension mean when you your angle the angle increase is called extension when the angle decrease is be flexion adduction when you move the limb or leg away from the midline will be will be uh, away will be the abduction if close to the body will be abduction and then we have circumduction movement like a cone shape and we have the rotation and by the way we can we have extension flexion abduction adduction and circumduction and also uh, you know um, rotation known as angular movement then in certain animals such as dog because radius and ulna are separated so we have what's called supination moving the palm up and also human being the same we have supination and we have a pronation supination means holding up and the pronation and this is only present in certain animal because this and ulna are separated like in case of dog and also in case of the human being also you can look at the diagram here to see different type of the joint hinge joint plane bivot condylar joint ellipsoidal saddle joint would be help you to understand you know the type, different type of joint 
I hope you understand this class and please